This is my daughter Tammy's favorite. This is her favorite poem out of this book. It's called Personal State of Emergency. <laughs> Suddenly, without a word, my husband left with the bills and no money to pay them. The rent was due and he owed money to my daughter too. What were we going to do? Declare a personal state of emergency. So I tried to remain brave and calm, for my daughter's sake mostly. Worry and stress, however, wouldn't go away as I tried my best to cruise through my day. And many nights I couldn't sleep. Why was I letting him get the best of me? What were we going to do? Declare a personal state of emergency. Now there was just too much at stake. There would be a lot of risk to take. This called for decisions only I could make. We would start over again, brand new and much better than before. I called on every bit of courage I could muster and sought help where I could find it. It embarrassed me to ask, but our need was, but our need was legit. We would find our way out of the viper's pit. Suddenly, a solution came to me, and very creative I began to be. Started thinking outside the box. Faced my own school of hard knocks. All my possibilities lined up in a row and pointed out the direction to go. My potential was staring back at me. Soon, I would say goodbye to my personal state of emergency. I hope you really like this one because it's really my favorite and um, yeah. It, it really ha it really took place. It really happened. So it's true a, event. a poem from a true event, exactly. We were left suddenly, didn't know how we were going to pay anything. My husband didn't care whether we were going to fall flat on our face or not. And you know what? We didn't. There. I just like to say something. Um, I feel really bad that um, my dad left because I was I really looked up to him. I mean, I remember the time he, like, we would play video games together, even though he had to teach me a little bit. Um, it was still fun. And I used to think of him, like, really good, because, like, I was like, if I was going to be between mom or him or something like that, I was more like him than her. But, like, it just shocked me when he left. I'm like, was it my doing, or why did he leave? What was his reason? I mean wasn't your doing. Yeah, but it made me feel really bad. Like, I didn't know why he had to leave. He didn't give us any notice, so it just was very sudden. So it's not like he, he gave us a head, I, I, either one of us a head up. And it really surprised us. And we know where he went to, but he didn't want to help after we tried contacting him and everything. But anyway, to get aside from that, you know what, that's all done and gone. And we're doing all right, we just don't need him anymore anyway. There. Well, um, this is a shout out to um, my cousin Danny. Hey, um, yeah, she lives over there with her um, mom and dad and my dad. Okay. So anyway, bye and thanks for um, listening to the poetry. There's a little bit more. <laughs> Hang in there. I've got a, a couple more things. Yep, and stick around for the next one. Keep going.